a word for you called Where I Was. I was there the day my mothers got married. It was a hot summer day, and the ceremony was at Union Station down the hill. 400 friends and family had packed into the building for this day 25 years in the making. I was there when marriage became legal, not just in our home state, but nationwide. I was in the car with one of my mothers when word came over the radio that the Supreme Court had made a decision and love became equal for all. Through joyous tears, I remember my mother said, Remember this moment, Wolf, because years from now, people will ask you where you were when it happened. I was also there the Sunday morning of June 13th, 2016. I woke up that Sunday like any other day, but the house was ominously quiet. I checked on my parents to find them crying in their room, watching the news. A gay nightclub in Orlando had been attacked in one of the most horrific mass shootings in our history. Forty-nine people had died. I cried too. I thought about the fact that my mothers could be taken from me just because of who they were. But I wasn't there the day my parents were threatened. I was nothing but a sparkle in their eyes when they received an anonymous death threat in the middle of the night to their home phone. I was there, though, when someone made an overzealous fake Facebook post calling for me to be kidnapped to save me from the sinners that were my parents. There was one more thing I wasn't there for, though. The day my parents decided to have me. What went through their minds? What what did they think? I mean, there must have been concerns bringing me into the world, a son of a lesbian couple. But they did it, anyway. They did it for their love. I'm proud of my parents. How could I not be? I am a direct result of their resilience, their character, their spirit. They stood up for themselves, for who they are. But I didn't come up here to tell you my story. I came up here to pose you one simple question. Where will you be when the next thing happens? Thank you. Period.